So a quick tip for you today, how to get rid of this annoying bar down the right hand side of Edge, the one that's headed with a B. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. You might have noticed recently when you open up the internet or Edge in particular, you've got this annoying bar down the right hand side. Some of you might find it helpful because in actual fact, OK, it's got a search button on it to take you to a little mini search site. It's got a shopping button there if you want to go shopping. It's also got a tools button here. So it's got calculators, translations, a world clock. It's also got games so if you want to play a few things they're there too you've got microsoft 365 there so if you want to log into your microsoft 365 and type a letter or do a spreadsheet you can do that in there or even create a powerpoint presentation you can do that in there if you've got Outlook Live or Hotmail as your email system, you can log into your emails just by clicking on that there. You've also got Drop, so you can easily send files and notes across all of your mobile and PC devices. You've also got eTree there, which allows you to save the planet. You've also got a customized button there so you can add more features. You can add, say, Facebook if you use Facebook. If you use YouTube quite a bit, you can add YouTube there. Same with eBay, Messenger. There's there's loads of things you can add on there. So in, in some respects, it is quite good, but I know it has annoyed quite a few people because they like that space on there. It does block out a little bit of the website. Incidentally, if you have added apps like I have that you really don't want to keep on there, you can just right click on the app and then click on remove from sidebar. That's a left click to remove. But there's a quick and easy way to remove that. You can just click on this here, this auto hide sidebar. That gets rid of it. And if we come out of Edge and go back into it again, then as you can see, there you go, it's gone. But if you want to bring it back at any time, you can just click on the B at the top of the screen and there you go, it comes back. If you want to sort of pin it to the side of the screen, click on that and then click on that again, which says always show sidebar, it stays there again. You can even go into settings there and change some of the settings. So again, you can customize the sidebar personalize my top sites in there, allow sidebar apps to show notifications. So if a new email comes in, the app can, can show a notification or if you get a message in Facebook or somebody like myself posts a new video, then in YouTube, you'll get notifications if you've subscribed to my channel. And that reminds me, whilst you're here, if you're liking this video and you'd like to see more videos like this with hints and tips, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You've got app specific settings on there as, as well. So there's, there's quite a few things that you can do with this side panel. But like I say, the main aim of this video was to show you how to get rid of it. So going back to that, so it is just literally click on that and that will get rid of that. Or alternatively, another way of doing it, just in case you haven't got that down there for any reason, you can click on the three horizontal dots in the top right hand corner of your screen, go to settings. And then if you've got this box up here, get rid of that and uh, and, and that will show you these settings menus on the left hand side there. If you can't see the settings menu, then you should see next to the word settings, three horizontal lines, click on those, and then either way, click on sidebar. Okay, and there we go. There's the option there to always show sidebar. So that's switched on. If I turn it off, the sidebar should disappear. There you go, when we come out of it. So there you go. I hope this video helped, and if it did, then 
why not stick around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. And also, if you're thinking of getting a VPN or buying a Fire Stick, have a look in the description of this video. There's links to some great VPNs with some great offers and also some great offers on at the moment for Fire Sticks too. And if you go through those links, it does help support this channel and enables me to dedicate more time to writing and composing more videos. So as I say, whilst you're here, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos on here. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some more time and money.